the times of india has a history of publishing negative stories against anti congress individuals the pro congress stance is attributed to the jain family's sense of indebtedness towards the nehru gandhi family jains received favors from both indira gandhi and jawaharlal nehru Feroz Gandhi helped expose financial irregularities by the previous owner and during the emergency ownership was returned to the Jain family by Indira Gandhi. After independence Dalmia acquired the Times Group but misused his position which went unnoticed by Nehru's government. Feroz Gandhi raised the matter in parliament resulting in court proceedings and Dalmia's conviction. However Nehru did not impose harsh penalties and allowed ownership to pass to Sahu Shanti Prasad Jain, Dalmia's son-in-law and grandfather of the Jain brothers. Sahu Shanti Prasad Jain, the New Times Group owner, illegally sold subsidized newsprint in the 1960s. This led to his imprisonment and the government took over ownership. The powerful Jains lost control of their media business for almost a decade, facing significant challenges after the violation of government trust. During the 1976 emergency a surprising event occurred despite Indira Gandhi's history of nationalizing banks and imposing state control over businesses she unexpectedly respected private property and returned ownership of the Times Group to Sahu Shanti Prasad Jain's son Ashok Jain During the emergency the Times of India was dubbed the Times of Indira publishing editorials praising Sanjay Gandhi's actions Later Ashok Jain removed critical senior journalists and nationalists this trend continues with the media group using congress allotted palatial buildings in Lutyens Delhi as a virtual private bungalow for the Jain family <music>